Hey everyone, Let's Go here from RetroReviewRevolution.com. Uh, please ignore the mess in my game room right now. Doing some reorganizing right now. Uh, also took the opportunity to put some new posters up. But anyway, this is a quick review slash check out of the Atari Flashback 3 game system. It includes 60 built-in games and is a fun little retro style system. Uh, let's check it out real quick. This is our console itself. Uh, a lot smaller than the original Atari, just to give you guys some kind of idea of the size difference. Right here is the Atari Vader compared to the Flashback 3. So, uh, pretty significant size difference. Also, if you look at the top there, you've got your power, start button, two difficulty switches, and a select button. So, some of the switches are missing. It does, however, come with some authentic full-size Atari joysticks, uh, nice replica versions. Uh, they feel pretty decent, to be honest. And, of course, you get the box, the manual, and as a, they call it the limited edition thing. I don't know how limited it is, but you get an Atari poster as well. Um, as I said earlier, this thing comes with 60 games, so let's check them out real quick. Uh, like I said, I'm doing some work in here right now, so we're actually going to check it out on a small 7-inch LCD TV. <laughs> I love technology, but let's power her on real quick. There we go. This thing has 60 games, so we're going to go through them. And I did forget to mention there are two control reports. We have 3D, Tic-Tac-Toe, Adventure, Adventure 2, Air, Sea, Battle, Aqua, Adventure, Asteroids, Backgammon, Basketball, Battle Zone, Bowling, Canyon Bomber, Centipede, Championship Soccer, Atari Circus Combat, Combat 2, Demons to Diamonds, Desert Falcon, Dodgem, Double Dunk, Fatal Run, Flag Capture, Frog Pond, Fun with Numbers, Golf, Gravatar, Hangman, Haunted House, Home Run, Human Cannonball, Mage, Craze, Metro Golf, Missile Command, Night Driver, Off the Wall, Outlaw, Real Sports Baseball, Basketball, Soccer, and Volleyball. Uh, Saboteur, Save Mary, Secret Quest, Skydiver, Space Force, Sprintmaster, Starships, Steeple Chase, Submarine Commander, Sipper Baseball. <laughs> Sipper Breakout, Sipper Football, Surround, Sword Quest Earthworld, Sword Quest Fireworld, Video Checkers, Video Chess, Video Pinball, Wizard, and then final art, Yars Revenge. Now, one thing I do like about this thing is that how you get the little screenshot over here of the game that you're wanting to play. Really like that. Uh, one thing I do not like is that unlike the previous Atari Flashback 2, uh, I think it was taken out of the 2 Plus as well. So when they put it back in the 3, but they haven't, no Pitfall. Uh, Pitfall is one of my favorite games for the old Atari. I really wish they would have brought it back, but unfortunately, no such luck. Still, though, you really can't complain about the game selection here. Also, I like the little asterisk that tells you when a game is only a single-player game. So we'll hit a button to load up a game real quick. This is Sea Venture. Hard to play with one hand while you're uh, trying to record as well. If I got my item and got killed, we'll try again. I will probably be very very, very poor at this. Let's see if I can make it to the top. Maybe. Maybe. Uh-oh. Run. There we go. So as you can see, the games are indeed very playable. When you get tired of one, you do not have to turn the unit on and off. You just come back to the unit, hit these two buttons, this one here and this one here. Resets the console. Uh, overall, I think the emulation's done pretty well. I know if they didn't go with the authentic Atari innards at this point, but they slapped in a, uh, I believe an ARM CPU and an emulator. We'll go ahead and turn up the volume real quick. Just to give you guys an idea of that authentic Atari sound that it throws out real quick. Uh, I'll play another old favorite of mine. 
Look at Yard's Revenge. I really like that one. So here we go. But there goes the uh, Zorlon Cannon, I think it was. Hard to remember the names of these uh, older space enemies and whatnot. Gotta watch that cursor, too. Let's see if I can take them out. Oh, there we go. Gotta love those old Stellatari explosions. Go ahead and reset our system here real quick. But anyway, that's a uh, quick look at the Atari Flashback 3. Overall, uh, it's not too bad if you want to get some uh, quick Atari play out of it. You can actually hook up your old Atari controllers to it. You can hook up a paddle controller if need be, whatever you really want. Uh, it is kind of high. Uh, I think 40 bucks is a bit high with it, and uh, one more little negative about it. I did pick mine up at Walmart, but I went through three before I got a working unit. My first one via power adapter did not work. The second one, it was mostly working, but whenever you plugged in the controller, uh, something was wired backwards or something. It would just constantly flip through the menu without you touching anything. And it was a problem with the console, not with the controller, because I tried both controllers with the console and uh, then followed it up with some authentic Atari controllers, and nothing worked with it. Uh, third one was finally the charm. So if you do want to pick these up, uh, be sure wherever you buy it from has a good warranty system for you, because uh, apparently the quality control isn't that good if I had two defective systems before I finally got one working. Uh, once you get a working one, though, it's pretty cool to work with. I thought it was pretty nice. Uh, definitely has a great retro feel. Love the design of the little console itself. Uh, they did make some minor changes in the earlier flashbacks, 2 and 3, and of course it looks completely different from a flashback 1. But uh, overall, I think it's more or less worth it if you want a cheap way to play some Atari. Now, granted, most of the games are pretty cheap at our hand to begin with, but it does come with some uh, games that were unreleased. Uh, I believe Adventure 2 is one of them, as can be seen there. Uh, I believe Combat 2, yes, yeah, another one that was unreleased. Uh, Adventure 2 I tried for a little bit. Now, it's quite a bit harder than the original Adventure, which, you know, it's a good thing. Go ahead and get started real quick. You see that dragon hunting you down screen by screen. Gotta watch him. That looks like a bat just took off with the dragon. It's hard to play this game whenever I'm trying to hold the camera as well. Yeah, that's the interesting thing about uh, Adventure 2. It's got a bat that goes around constantly stealing different items. I like the fact that it just took off with the bat. The maps in this one seem pretty big as well, at least by Atari standards. Pick up the bridge here. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop this review here. Honestly, I think it's a system that's worth the money if you can find a working one. That's a trick. Until <laughs> uh, then, this is Lefko from RetroReviewRevolution.com, and we will see you all next time.